Tyler Hoechlin's fitness transformation for Superman was a little bit more complicated than those of most big screen actors. Between gym lockdowns, dietary changes, and the realities of shows having really long shooting schedules, and the devastating reality of being the other man, Tyler had to be resilient and get creative to make sure he could reach Superman's peak physique. So Tyler's fitness journey started early as he started playing baseball around the age of seven. But for years, he tried to juggle being a baseball player and being an actor at the same time, even turning down a role in Twilight at one point. He could have been so glitter. For Tyler, it was a difficult decision between focusing on baseball and focusing on acting, but eventually fate made that decision for him. Because after an injury, he was forced to ditch baseball, and soon after, he took on one of his biggest roles on the MTV show Teen Wolf. It was years later that he would be driving through Las Vegas with his brother when he got the call that locked him in as the next small screen Superman. And what was the first thing he thought to himself after getting that call? I should probably get to the gym. Now, Tyler's no stranger to fitness, but he had a year to seriously prepare his physique for the role of Superman, and his number one goal for that year was getting as shredded as possible possible. He realized back on the set of Teen Wolf that being lean is the secret to looking big on camera without having to build an insane amount of muscle mass. And the same is true in real life. A guy might be 20 or 30 pounds lighter than you, but if he's much leaner than you, he's still gonna look bigger. So Tyler spent most of that year getting as lean as he could, but once he was happy with his body fat percentage, he switched gears and started bulking up. Now we don't know exactly what his bulking protocol was, but the best way to bulk without putting on too much extra body fat is to lean bulk. Lean bulking is where you only eat slightly more than your body needs to maintain weight, usually in the range of 50 to 100 calories. Now with this, you won't blow up and get massive, but most of the weight that you do put on will be muscle. So again, you'll end up looking much better and much bigger throughout the bulk. Now in big part, Tyler credits his lean physique to being on a ketogenic diet. And on top of this, while cutting, he also does intermittent fasting, where he doesn't start eating until about one or two in the afternoon and doesn't eat after about eight to 10. Both of these methods have been shown to prime the body to use fat as its main source of energy. And fasting even causes your body to release norepinephrine, which stimulates the release of fat fatty acids from fat cells into the bloodstream so they can be burnt as fuel, which of course means you lose fat. Now, before March 2021, his diet was pretty typical for a Hollywood actor. Lean meats, eggs, low starch veggies, no sugar, you know, all that kind of stuff. But after watching the Netflix documentary Sea Spiracy, last March, he had a change of heart and went vegan. Then about a month later, he had another change of heart after realizing that doing keto while being vegan is nearly impossible if you want to eat any amount of real protein. So he added back in eggs to his diet to help in that regard. So now let's get into the fun stuff. Tyler's Superman workouts. So the main areas that he focused on were his shoulders, chest, and back. Hitting these will give you that broad-shouldered superhero look. He trained five days a week doing a classic bodybuilding split. His go-to exercises for building his physique are the incline chest press, lateral raises for the side delts, lots of rows and lat pulldowns for his back to give it that nice V-shape. And of course, he loves to feel strong, so he does lots of deadlifts as well. Now, we don't know his exact program, but I'm going to write one up based off what information we do have, and I'll leave it at the end of the video so you can try it out yourself. Now, because of his injuries from baseball, he doesn't do a lot of conventional cardio like like running on a treadmill. Instead, he gets his cardio from hitting the weights. He does lots of supersets and lots of bodybuilding circuits where he does a few exercises back to back with little rest. This is called peripheral heart action training. And this is actually what Ryan Reynolds does as well. And I did a full video covering Ryan's training. So you have to go check that out once this video is done. So here's the workout plan. I'll also link a calorie calculator down in the description to help with the nutrition. Go ahead and leave any questions you might have down in the comments and I'll help you out. See you in the next video.